Hey everybody, good afternoon. It's been a couple rough days around my household. I had to sell some guitars. I've been going through depression. This pandemic is finally getting the best of me, but I'm going to uh, today go out and find people to help and just be happy and thankful. And the first thing I want to be thankful for is my sister Mary who made this wonderful mask. Isn't it beautiful? And look, it's reversible. Boom. I asked her for camo. She got me camo. What do you like? You like the brown? Hey guys, look below and make sure you ring the bell and comment. That's how they get you. That's how they get those YouTube channels to grow. I don't know how to do any of that shit. They be like, hey guys, do you like the brown one? Or do you like the blue one? Leave a comment below, guys. And make sure you subscribe and ring the bell and buy a t-shirt, guys. Whenever they say guys, hi guys, what is up? You know those YouTubers, hey guys, what's happening? It's your boy Boogie Bob here. We're going to have a good time. Let me tell you why. We got... I don't do all that shit, bro. <laughs> maybe, maybe YouTube isn't for me. I don't lie. I don't do clickbait. I try to keep it 100 and maybe I'm boring. Who knows? But today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk out this door. I'm going to keep it moving. And I'm going to say hi to everyone I see who makes eye contact. And hopefully something good will happen. It's been a lot of the regular. The pandemic slowed down my flow. But I'm going to get out there and I'm going to make shit pop. So I hope that something good happens. And I hope that you're with me for the ride. One minute, 37 seconds later. I just saw this gentleman right here on my block playing. And he's brilliant. a couple of my guitars this week and hearing you and seeing you makes me happy thank you so much i really appreciate it man I, listen i've never seen you here before this must be your first time uh no we come here off and off for a minute all right well i know we come once a week well that one guy broke you off a 20. now i feel cheap good for you player god bless you man thank you thank you all right brother all right so that was fun brother down the block playing guitar and uh just made me happy you know i've sold a couple guitars this week and then hearing someone not only playing nights but having fun and getting money and making us feel like the world is going back to normal again that's him over my shoulder there and uh that was beautiful i had a great time and uh i'm gonna go home and destroy my strings he makes it sound like heaven i make mine sound like shit but I just wanted to bring that to you because, you know, the world is getting back to normal. New York City, you see street musicians every day. I haven't seen one in a very long time. And that was wonderful, especially right outside my door. All right, guys, God bless you. Thank you. Two hours later. 
this guy playing Stairway to Heaven out here. my new best friend thank, thank you. you brother thank you so much i hope you have a wonderful day thank Likewise. you my name is ty are you on uh, instagram or facebook or anything no, our group is on youtube youtube what's the name on the uh, youtube the group's name is majestic k Buck. majestic k Buck. k like king yes majestic k, k Buck. Yes. i got uh, you know i'm boogie bob boogie on uh, facebook don't tell him he'll play it He'll play it. Thank you, brother. All right, you're Majestic K Funk. I'll check you out. Yes, okay. God bless you, man. Bye -bye. I was just saying, I need some love in my life, and I need to feel good again. And oh, now look, he's making me go back. He plays it all oh, right here on my block. I could literally get a lawn chair and go watch him for an hour. Wow. Please be loving and kind to each other. I'm going to keep this short because it's all about him today. God bless you all. I tell you all the time that God is great. You see the homeless woman across the street? That's her belongings over there. That's Doris. And if you're a fan of my channel, you know that I've helped her on several occasions when they rob her and take her radio. Well, I bought her a radio. And the problem is because she's homeless, I never see her. So I'm gonna go into my home now and give her her radio. That's my friend Doris. Well, it looks like Dolores' radio came. It's a lot smaller this time. I hope she likes it. Everybody believes Douglas is here. For my younger viewers, this is called a radio. Alright, so this lady who I love dearly, homeless woman. You guys, if you're on my channel, you'll see her. I'll post some of the videos below. Her name's Doris. Now, Doris has stuff like that those bags and suitcases right there the problem is she has ten times that amount of stuff so what she does is she'll park it right there and then walk wherever it's at and grab two or three more bags and then bring it back and put it there then go back and get the rest there's probably about 40 more things she's gonna go put over there and once she gets there with all 40 of her items she will go down the block and take those items maybe down there and park them all and then do the same thing over and over so it's going to take her hours.
it's a uh, it's a crazy process but I don't know where she's at but if that's her stuff she went down that way to get it and she'll be back in a couple minutes with another bag here's the radio I got her I got it on Amazon they uh, she loves the radio but they rob her and uh, it's probably been really hard on her living in the streets Put my battery in. With DVD, most insurances, Medicare, you're gonna love it. Got a little antenna on there. Cancer it's small. The last one I got her, she said it was a little big for her pocket. So hopefully this one she can put in her pocket and she won't get robbed. Let's go find Doris. 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 It's me, Bob. Where's all your stuff? I don't have your radio with me. I just bought you a brand. I did. How do I look? I, I did. I went to breakfast. Well, how about now? Take my mask off. I get skinnier every time you see me. Uh, uh, me Doris, the last time we talked. Let me just move a little further. Where's all your shit at? I don't see it. I didn't I even recognize you. Distance. All right. So, Doris is going to drag her stuff. It must be up around the corner. Doris! I got your new radio. Oh my Cause I love you. I Take have it. Your radio with me you had that time. piece of shit one. This is the good one. Look. I have your radio all the time, and I said I can't wait to give it back to me. Well, I have not seen you for about a month and a half or so. But look at this one. You said you want it small to fit in your thing. You don't need an earpiece. Oh wow. Oh, it's got a little you. antenna on the back, oh, God, so you can God. get all your stations. It's FM and AM. Oh, thank you. And it will fit in your pocket, cause the other one was too big. And the other one was like a cassette player. Take that. Oh, God bless you. I love you. Now, do you want a slice of pizza or something while I'm here? I wonder if you want to have a piece Do I look handsome? That's the question. How do I look? You always look. You're so sweet. Uh, what do you want? Did you want I just, well, the pandemic doesn't help. But uh, no sodas. Trying to watch what I eat. I cook home every, almost every day I cook home. So that's important. That's really important. Thank you. Well, the first time I saw you, I was big. You even said, oh, you're a really big fella. Yeah, you were big. Yeah, well, I'm not and now. the second time, last time you were... You mentioned that I lost some weight. Now, I, now I'm now i at, like, my stomach is flat. I'm almost there. Well, I feel pretty good. You're fine. No, I'm great. I feel I feel comfortable, yeah, and I'm, I'm happy. Okay now. now, would you like a slice of pizza? Some chicken? How about, I know you like your orange juice. You want, want an orange juice? While I'm here, I might not see you again for a while. Were you away or? No, I've been here, but you haven't been here. Oh. I'm out almost every day. It's so funny, I was walking home just now. I go, oh my God, there's Doris. Now I know when I see you, that you're not gonna be gone when I come back because you're doing these damn trips and it takes you 10 or 20 minutes each stop. So I went to my house, I got the radio, I came back and there you were. It's my pleasure. I think you're going to really like this one. It gets all the channels and it's small. And you don't need a headset, which is great. Now, last time I'm asking you, because I got to go. You want something? You want a slice of pizza? You want uh, would you rather I just go to the ATM and get you like $5? Then you can buy your own thing later. You want an orange soda? I mean, I know you like the orange juice. You want an orange juice? But you know something, um, everything gets no. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I, okay. I wish I had the radio. It's my pleasure, hon. I like your hat. That's a new hat. Yeah, yeah. I like your hat. I almost didn't recognize you. Well, where's all your stuff? I'm I concerned. Didn't recognize you. Where's your stuff, Doris? I'm Is it at short, your? In such a short period of time. I hadn't seen you for over a month. And when I did see you last, I said, Doris, I'm going to get you a radio. The problem is, if I get you a radio, it's about finding you again. How the hell do I find you? Because you're you not... Know, people go to professional places and they don't lose weight so fast. It took, a, it took over a year. It was a, it was a lot of work, a lot of walking, a lot of exercises, no taxis. And I discovered cooking at home, which I enjoy. Before it was Burger King and pizza and... I don't do any of that. I just, I'm just happy to cook at home and relax. But did you use to binge or just regular eating? Uh, regular eating, but I'd eat shit. I mean, if you're eating fast food morning, noon, and night, and eating cheeseburgers at four in the morning, it's never going to help you. I don't do any of that. Now I have a very happy appetite. 
I, I cook a nice meal usually around this time. In fact, I saw you when I went to the store to get a can of corn. I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna cook a nice balanced meal. And if I have leftovers and wanna nibble later, I don't do sweets, but I, I do sodas. Sodas is my killer. So I've cut way down on the sodas. And I'm just, uh, you know, trying to get more exercise. That's all. I'm gonna keep at it. But you didn't used to be? No, not really. I just would eat shit all day. Listen, if you eat morning, noon, and night horrible fast food shit, I would like Taco Bell and Kentucky Fried Chicken, all that shit, none of it. I don't do any of that. Well, you're supposed to, to be healthy, to do no, three. You... I'm doing one or two. Oh, back then I just didn't have any schedule. I didn't care. I didn't know. I just eat whenever I was hungry. And I always thought I would always be hungry because I was eating shit and it made you think you were hungry again. If I go home now and I cook chicken and corn or something that's good and tastes good, I don't get hungry. I don't get up at 3 in the morning wanting to walk to the store to get a ham and cheese sandwich. I don't do that anymore. So that's been a big help. It's been a great help. We'll see if I can continue. I'm trying. You know, the pandemic screwed up everything, as you know. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But now that you discovered cooking... Uh, I love the cooking. You never did that before? No, never. One day during the pandemic, I said, I'm going to try I have a cooking channel. I'm going to start a cooking channel. And I'm gonna cook, and I didn't know I didn't know what to cook. I cooked hot dogs. Uh, I go to the store and buy a store-bought chicken that was already cooked. Now I'm trying everything from scratch as much as I can. We'll see. We'll see. I try to mix it up. I don't have a big. It's not like I'm a great chef. I'm still shit, but I'm trying, and it's working. So I'm all, I'm working on it. And you never did it. Before. Never did it before. I learned now. I'm getting better. Doris, I love you. So happy to see you. you if you need anything, please let me know, and we'll take it from there. Is there any uh, Doris is a sweetheart. She she won't let you just say hi. You got to talk to her for 30 minutes, and I don't like to put a camera up in her face and imprint on her. I don't know what I shot. I don't know if I shot any of it. She's a lovely woman. We talked for a long time, and uh, that's her back there. She is so happy. She thanked me a hundred times for that radio, and that just made my whole world. And she's a smart lady, she's sweet. She's just been on these streets for 30 years. That's a tough, hard life. And a sweet, wonderful woman. And I hope that you take something away from it. I hope that you are kind and loving to each other and that you're uh, good to yourself. Please be careful, this pandemic is not a joke. All these people that are laughing about it, a lot of them are catching up. God bless you, man. Take care. Thank mm -hmm. you.